This is going to be my first video for FIS or Friedberg in suspense. Uh, I've done uh, two sections very early going uh, for the problems. Uh, also, I have read the first three sections, so I actually did the first two, read the third. Uh, then also uh, worked on Appendix E, which was very long, took forever to, to work through. Now, for this particular book, I am going to log theorems because this is a theorem based book and so I'll have counts not just of the problems that I did which were 30 but also of the theorems that I did out of those 30 which is 11 so the total is, is, is the same because it's the very first video going out November 13 and there are your uh, 11 actually th that count is wrong it's actually 16 I'll correct that after the video because the there were five exercises in appendix E that I also did so I, uh, I will start with the book. Uh, now, of course, this is a very different treatment than Anton, Anton being an applied book. Yet this book also, uh, one thing that I really like about it, it also has easy problems. Now, being a second uh, linear algebra book that I will do, it would have been tempting to only pick and choose the parts that are different from what I've already done and only do those. That's not what I want to do because I love repetition. And I think it's actually going to help me. So I am planning to go through the whole book. And I'm actually planning to attempt every single problem. Every single proof. I think so. Maybe I'll change my mind. But uh, this great book must be enjoyed. After all, this is my hobby. So why not? Uh, just showing the, the front matter of the book. Of course, it goes straight into vector spaces. But I'll head back to Appendix E. Now, Appendix E is way out of order for what this book is doing. But I feel like my, that my polynomials work is lacking. And, and I, I saw through all the appendices. And there's only uh, the fundamental theorem of algebra proof I want to go through when it comes into the book. So this could be like chapter 4 for all I know. I don't really know. But also, um, yeah, I went through appendix E. It's a little out of order uh, because it's chapters 5, 6, and 7, which is later in the book. But the beauty of doing a second... Uh, round of uh, linear algebra is I literally can go anywhere in the book and uh, and I'll, I'll kind of know what 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 is being discussed I tried all the proofs and I'll show them in my uh, write-up one I think needed the Kaylee Hamilton book uh, proof uh, theorem but other than that I was able to use just what's in the um, in the appendix so again <clears throat> Section 1.1, just <coughs> very simple vectors. Um, section 1.2, vector spaces, the eight uh, parts of it, ax axiom conditions. Um, and then some basics about uh, matrices. Then what makes a vector space when you try to, when they give you a rule, you try to go through all the uh, vector space uh, rules and see which ones are violated. If all are met, then you have a vector space. Uh, and so I went through all of all of all these problems. There's there's a couple of problems on the web, uh, and you put in a URL. I'm gonna put that in the description to the video, the actual full URL, so you don't have to type this in case you're following along with me in this book. And yes, I have already started reading about uh, subspaces. Almost everything that I've come across is familiar territory for me. It's not new, uh, and it's sort of okay. I've been through this before, but I really like I really like the repetition, and that's what I'll be doing. Lots of repetition, uh, and then when new content comes along, that will be nice too. I know direct sums and direct products, especially direct sums and dual spaces, are will be new to me in this book. So again, finished Anton, started FIS. Just the reading, very little reading. Uh, sometimes in the reading, if it's super simple to me, I don't take notes. Uh, but that's going to get rarer and rarer. Less seldom is, is that going to happen. Uh, okay, exercises. Did okay. Uh, made a mistake in this proof. Uh, actually, I should have thought about doing it more correctly. Not, this is not the, the way that I did it is wrong. Uh, but I think everything else I got okay. Then for vector spaces, of course, what I just showed. Uh, and then 
After I finished reading uh, vector spaces, I went into reading the humongous appendix E. And uh, then there, uh, I tried to fill in everything as it was being discussed. And I attempted some proofs. Uh, and I think I did them to my satisfaction. Very interesting how all this polynomial work is really the Euclidean algorithm for number theory. So there's this linkage to number theory when I was looking through. Uh, this might as well be a section out of a number theory book with everything, instead of being polynomials being divided, it's really just uh, modular arithmetic. Um, couldn't figure out this problem. I tried to uh, piece it together. I'll come back to it. I know for a fact, I don't remember doing a this, this exact type of problem in Anton where you're given four polynomials and then you're supposed to uh, come up with a basis for them and then express them with uh, factors of uh, other polynomials. I just sunk my teeth into it, couldn't, and I did not want to divert myself too much by actually going through all of Anton to find out if I did a similar problem. I don't remember that. So I, I'm just making a note here that this is a hole that I need to fill later. Tempted more theorems as uh, that were new. I mean, their exercises in the in the uh, in the appendix are not explaining the appendix, but some like this one for, for for sure comes from the appendix itself. And sure enough, the last theorem is really unique factorization uh, theorem for polynomials. <clears throat> this is the exact same theorem as in number theory for the unique factorization of a natural number into. <clears throat> It's uh, pr um, primes, into primes. It's the same thing. Totally screwed up the uh, first uh, problem with true and false. And it's because, I get it now, I wasn't just considering that rule by itself. I also had to consider the other vector space uh, conditions. And when you do, you realize that these conditions by themselves are false. You need something else. Okay, got it. Then I proceeded to do well. Uh, my my vector space conditions I could have been neater, so but I, I got I got okay by the third one. Of course, this is very simple matrix algebra. I should do fine, of course. Uh, and then when it came to uh, saying whether something was a vector space or not, I got them all right, um, which is great. Of course, this. Uh, how many matrices can you do with Boolean, zero and one? It's for an M by N, it's two to the M times N. Yeah, it's like that. So there you have it. That is sections 1.12 with problems, section 1.3 reading and appendix E.